Hey everybody, a Shadowbox here with episode 8. Shut up, Rooster, you're interrupting my intro. Alright, let's try that again. Hey everybody, this is a Shadowbox bringing you more Farming Simulator 2013 on the Central Kansas Remake map, version 1.1. Uh, this is episode 8, and uh, off camera, I've done 2 or 3. Uh, let's see how much we have. You might notice uh, I've downloaded a PDA mod. Um, that's really the only page that I have set differently. Okay, I've done two harvests of canola, and uh, we have not had a great demand. So I went ahead and uh, reseeded the field in something else. Uh, in this case, it was wheat. So, yeah. Uh, I just thought... Oh, and you might notice I switched back to the default head for this uh, harvester because I was... Shut up, Rooster, because I was tired of not being able to use course play with it. So let's go ahead and get this guy all set up with, um, with cutting, not cutting wheat, harvesting wheat. Don't worry, I'm not going to show you guys the whole field. I just wanted to show you the setup and then the aftermath. So, let's go ahead and get inside ready to go. Well, inside, let's go ahead and get this tractor ready to go. Come on, let me... Nope, still nothing. If you guys know any good uh, John Deere uh, tippers, let me know. Because I would like a nice one to match this tractor, just because I am... Uh, I like paying attention to details like that. Even though this trailer that we're using is a similar color scheme. It's, uh, it's not John Deere, dang it. I think my top three favorite, uh, farming companies, I guess, or farming machine manufacturers, however you want to say it, are, uh, in no particular order, John Deere, New Holland, and Case. Case IH, rather. Because, you know, Case bought International Harvester, that's why it's Case IH. So let's go ahead and load up the course. Combine. And drive. Alright, have fun with that. Now there is something else I wanted to show you guys. I've downloaded a couple more mods. So if we go over to the mods, you can see, oh wow, this whole category here is new. And uh, this is the Mack Truck Pack, and uh, I have an edited version that uh, Talking Donkey edited for me. Uh, so thank you, Talking Donkey. And uh, this is a really interesting pack, so once we have enough money, we will go ahead and uh, go ahead and get some of these. I'll probably get the green one because it goes with the John Deere. Um, you can see uh, Grain Train trailers. Um, this is... Oh, this actually can go under this. <laughs> This is a water tanker, um, but you can just put, I believe you can just put this on the back of one of the trucks. Uh, it has a neat little pallet loader, though that is pretty expensive. I'm not entirely sure what this is, but okay. And then these are all trailers that, uh, they're, they look like they're box trailers. This is a tipper, I think. Um, but, uh... Actually, well, I guess you'll see when we get them, because I am planning on getting one. And a couple of dump trucks, which are pretty cool. You can tell it is a German mod, because the white dumper is called Dumper Weiss. 
So. All right. Well. Oh, right. I didn't show you the other one. Duh. The one that I was actually going to buy. It is. Oh, and look. <laughs> Remember the uh, the cat um, harvesters uh, that we used last season? They are. Do I still have them? No. Looks like I took them out. Good. Um, but anyway, those cat harvesters kind of had an update, so they're these, or at least these are like equivalent to them. So yeah, I'm looking forward to trying them out. Um, oh, here they are. They're under, it was these harvesters that we used last year. Last year, last season. There we go. Okay, it is, of course, a John Deere, the one that I'm getting now. Oh, here we go. John Deere, John Deere. Oh, I'm going to have to go into the XML and fix that because that's going to bug me. All right. None of these. I have to take these out. That's left over from the old John Deere harvesters that I used. This right here. John Deere baler. And then I'm not entirely sure what this does, but we're not going to get that yet. So let's go over to our Ford. This is actually... Uh, this is actually a new Holland tractor. It was just made when they were owned by Ford. That's why there's a new Holland logo in here and Ford on the outside. Whoa. Whoa. So yeah, I have started... Ooh! Great demand at the canola refinery. Um, well, we'll be sure to do that after our tipper is not occupied with, uh transporting wheat but um uh, what I was saying before I was so nicely interrupted by canola great demand finally um oh it's even at the right spot too it's at the canola refinery nice wait that's the canola refinery up there I thought the canola refinery was down south oh wait no never mind it's the uh I always get confused on this map for some reason, I think north is south and south is north. No, nope, that's the right place. So we'll back up here and hook up. But yeah, as I was saying before, I kept on being interrupted. So nicely interrupted, but interrupted nonetheless. Is um, I've started using an Xbox controller for the uh, for driving purposes. Even though, uh, it means that I have to, like, go back and forth between the keys and the controller, because obviously mods rely on a lot of keys. I think it is worth it. Ooh, we're running low on gas, so I should probably stop and refuel first. I don't know what button that is on the controller, so... Pop that back open. Where's the fuel tank here? It's not too far away, I thought. I thought it was... I thought it was right there, but it's not. There it is. There we go. So since we still don't have a shed to actually store any bales in close to the cows yet, uh, we will just sell these bales, but I thought it would be a good idea to get into the habit of, um, of baling up these windrows here. Let's see. I do have to use the keys for this, though, just because I don't want to learn the Xbox buttons for bailing right now. Come on, spit out the bail. There we go. I think I need to get a new keyboard soon.
All right, guys. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure you can figure out how this is going to go down. So I will see you when uh, this field is turned over. See you in a second. All right, guys. The field is far from done, but I'm just too anxious to uh, to get our money. So I've stopped the uh, wheat harvest for now. And we are just going to sell some canola. Let's fill up the tipper. So we started, we're starting with $16,000 and with about 110,000 uh, liters of canola. Is that, that's what I think it was. Um, so yeah, I will show you the first and the last load. As, uh, I guess we can make that standard when we're selling. Let's see, so that way is actually south. So we need to head. No, actually, that way was west. <laughs> I get all discombobulated on this map. That beeping. We're not on the road anymore, we can kill the beacons. So yeah, this uh this this PDA mod that I added is it's called PDA mod. You can get it on FSUK. And the reason I got it is because uh the default PDA doesn't show a price for pig. Now you might be going, oh my gosh, why aren't you doing pig? Pig is worth 213087 Well, that remember, uh, the PDA shows you price per thousand. And you sell pigs at, uh, at a unit price. So really, each pig is worth $213.09. Which, you know, it's not bad. We're definitely going to get into pigs uh, once we get the equipment. Um, it's just not <laughs> as uh, as huge of a payout as the PDA makes it seem. I guess I went a little too fast over that bump. Alright, but this is the great demand for canola right here. What's our price on it again? Whoops. Prices. Canola at the refinery. Oh, it's not showing us the great demand price, but it's uh, two times the price. So we're getting about two thousand four hundred each. So that means we should get around sixty thousand for this. Let's see. Oh yeah. Wow. We got like 64, 65,000, something like that. So yeah, definitely not a bad payout. So how much more do we have? We still have 81,000 more. That's three more trips. Though the last trip won't be a full trip. So yeah, we're going to have a good chunk of change by the time we're done here. So... I will see you guys for the last trip. Make your predictions now. Hey everybody, we are taking the last load down to the refinery. As you can see, we have made quite a bit of money. Our end total should be around 280,000-ish. Well, let's find out, right? All right, here we are.
Oh, just shy of 300,000. Wow. That was more than I expected, though. That's definitely enough money for what we need. So let's head on back to the farm, and uh, we'll talk about what to do next when we get there. See you guys in a second. Hey everybody, we're back, and uh, if you will observe the load status mod, then you will see that I have started up the wheat harvest again. But uh, while that's going, I thought we should pop into the store and uh, buy our new equipment, because I hope you guys are as excited for this as I am. So let's see, I think it's a crone that we're looking for. Crone, yep. Here it is. Big X 1 1100 Beast Pack Big X Cargo. Yes, that is what we need. Holds 60 cubic meters or 45,000 liters of chaff or grass. So yeah, this will definitely be useful. Oh darn. Oh darn. Let's see. Now I don't think I have enough money for what I wanted to get. Whoops, I passed it already. Duh. Of course, John Deere. Yep. 198 and 112. So we need like... 210,000. Well, hopefully we will get some of that back uh, from uh, the bales that we will sell shortly. That's a pretty nice model. Can't even clip through this. I mean, you, I can... Look, I can't even clip through the hitch. can't clip through the tires. Wow, this is really, really well done. Can I walk under it? Okay, I can. I can clip through here, but that's not a big deal. Wow. I'm impressed. That is some quality modeling. Alright, let's uh, cheat and tab over. Here we are. The Chronex or Cronex, the Crone Big X 1100. Oh. oh no, we're gonna crash through the hedge. Hmm, I don't know why that is happening, but whatever, it's happening. Alright, so here is our new monstrosity, I mean, harvester. <laughs> so let's take a look at it, right? Okay, so, O to unfold the pipe, move over to the back, and it's actually the M key. You see it start to actuate. Oh, hmm, well, that could be a problem. See, my plan was to, uh, I would drive this and go pick up those grass rind, rind, rind rows? wind rows that we have, and uh, then a uh, course play driver would drive alongside me and collect it and uh, drive it and dump it off at the BGA, and then... I would still be able to keep going because I have this thing. But the course play driver only unloads from the left hand side. He won't unload from the right, but that's not our problem. We can just rotate it around. Very nice. Wonder what V does. Oh, that lifts that 
other axle there. So for work or for transport, that's pretty cool. Left control is not doing anything at the moment, though if we switch to here, left control turns on four-wheel drive. STX on or off? Oh, and you can change it to tracks if you want, or twin wheels. All right, we can show or hide a weight in the back. I think we've got all the weight we need in the back. And work lights, hire worker, turn on harvester, we know what all that stuff does. Gas limiter, I think that, I think he means ES limiter. Nope. Hmm, I wonder what those do. I guess we should probably fold up that, uh, that back end when we're not using it. Oh! wonder what caused that. Put in the pipe. And now our chaff harvester is all ready to go for next episode. Oh, but this isn't the end of this episode. Nope, not yet. You see, I even unhooked the Ford from the baler uh, because I was so sure I would be able to afford that other John Deere tractor. What? Well, I guess not. So anyway, um, off camera, I am going to finish this wheat field. And then I will bring you guys back when it's time to pick up those bales, because I'm curious if our flatbed can do it or not. So, I will see you guys in a bit. Well, just a second for you. You guys are lucky. Alright everyone, the field is all harvested and baled. Uh, let's take a look at how much wheat we actually got. Look at that, 110,000. We literally got twice the yield out of wheat that we did out of canola. Um, but now, of course, we need to pick up our bales, and there are quite a few, let me tell ya. Um, so of course I won't be showing all of it, I'll show the first trailer load and the last trailer load, as is our usual routine now. Um, but it just occurs to me, well, it just occurred to me, that, um, I can't get the that John Deere tractor as our next thing to purchase um, because I still need something else uh, that takes precedence before that and it is um, related to uh, the smooth operation of our uh, of our planned silage operation <laughs> so and yeah, lots of operation there so if you can guess what I'm going to buy before the next episode airs, then, um, well, I can't really afford to actually give you a prize, but, uh, I'll give you a shout-out, I guess. I mean, I don't think a shout-out for me is that big of a deal, but that's what I can do. <laughs> Let's see, we need Bales Round. Let's see if it'll, let's see if our uh, trailer here will load it. Oh, it does. Awesome. Oh man, that is so nice. So yeah, I'm also thinking about um, our next big purchase I think should be a second field and then we should start looking at uh, the root crops uh, potatoes and sugar beet and uh, I have a plan for running the farm um, I think that 
oh wow, this flapper can hold a lot. But um, I think that we should do some kind of a crop rotation. So I looked up the seasons of the different crops in Farming Simulator. And uh, we have wheat is harvested anywhere from May to September, depending on when it was planted. Barley is harvested from October to November. Canola is harvested from September to October. Corn, October to November. Potato, July to August. And beet, September to November. These are, of course, uh, general times for uh, the United States. If you're somewhere else in the world, it may not correlate with you. Um, but uh, seeing as we're playing on the United States map, I made sure to get United States values. Also, um, oh yeah, so I was thinking, using this idea, I can make some kind of a schedule to follow, to kind of simulate the different seasons. So, maybe for example, um, let's see, beets are from September to November, and canola is from September to October. So maybe for one season, we'll have, like, canola and beets, sugar beets, growing at the same time, and we can make a season go from like three days to like seven days or something. I mean, clearly there's not realistic growth rates in Farming Simulator, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of that idea. I think it sounds pretty neat, but I mean, I would, wouldn't I? I'm the one that thought of it. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. All right, so let's see. Now we got to toggle our unloading side to the side trailer, side left. And now we need to unload. Oh, dang it. I need, I meant to do right. I'm a moron. There we go. <laughs> side, let's see, numpad, not nine, numpad, eight. Side right, and unload. It's not letting me unload. Oh, it's because I'm... There we go. Come on, that's clearly... That's clearly in the marked area. Maybe I should just pull forward and unload him from the back. And then I, if I miss any, I can just, like, back up and knock him in. So it's not terrible money. I'm not going to say it's good money, but it's not terrible money. Oh, you might notice my camera is behaving a little bit differently. Um, I downloaded the uh, no clipping camera. Um, I think it was recommended by one of the mods that I'm using, but I don't remember which one. Let's try to knock that bail in. I know you can roll the default bales. There we go. There it goes. Alright. So yep, that is our first trailer load. I will bring you guys back when we are on our last one. See you in a second. Well guys, it seems I've overestimated how uh, many bales were left on the field and underestimated how many bales this trailer can carry because our second trailer load is also our last trailer load, and it's not even a full one at that. So yeah, there's not as much money in bales as I was hoping there would be, that there was going to be. Um, it's been a long time since I've done uh, any kind of bailing. So alright, let's unload. Hopefully I get them all in. Oh, I missed half of them. <laughs> this is one way to do it, right? Ah, That one's going to be difficult. Come on. Come on. See if I can knock it into place with the tractor. 
There we go. Alright, so let's get this equipment parked up. We'll return this to the sheep. Well, actually, we'll probably be using it on the field now more often than with the sheep, so... I will just take that. Hmm. I can't really back it in because I suck with articulation, so... I guess we can just... Oh! <laughs> I was about to say, there's no contact there, I promise, but there was so much contact I glitched through the... <laughs> glitched through the barn. Okay. Yes, cleared the tree. Oh, and nailed the chicken coop. Oh, don't tell me I'm stuck. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna say I'd hate to have to get the Ford and ram the nice John Deere out. There we go. All right, everything's looking good this time. I feel like that was more tedious than it needed to be. That's a good enough spot for that, right? Alright guys, well, I am just going to park up the tractor and uh, perform our daily maintenance routine. Um, you don't gotta stick around and watch that if you want, but I guess I'll record it for you. But uh, if you're heading out, then uh, thank you guys for watching, and until next time, I'm A Shadowbox. This is Farming Sim 2013, and uh, thank you so much for watching again, and have a good one. All right, now that everyone has just left, let's talk about them. <laughs> All right, so daily maintenance. Let's take off the wheels. Make sure the uh, make sure ever the cab is as closed as we can get it. There's the. You can just see the pedestal down there. Click it. Turn it off the tractor. Come on, open the door. There we go. Unfortunately, that door will not close. And let's hose it down. Getting it nice and clean. Because this tra- you know, how, how nice the tractor is, is how people will think uh, how nice our farm is. Though that was a great sentence, wasn't it? Well, our tractors represent the state of our farm. The state of our tractors rep represents the state of our farm. Third time's the charm. Now well, we got this out, let's go ahead and hose off the Ford at the, while we're at it. Instead of coming back to the Ford. Make sure everything's good. Everything seems good. Um, I'm stuck on something. Help. Alright, there we go. That fixed it. And let's just check under the hood here. Whoops. Did not mean to do that. Everything's looking good. Though it's probably about due for an oil change. And close it up. Alright, well that is our daily maintenance completed. Hold on. We need to do that. There we go. There we go. That is our daily maintenance completed. So for those of you who stuck around, you get the the uh, fair or the sign off once again. So uh, thank you guys for watching. And until next time, I'm a Shadowbox. This is Farming Simulator 2013, and have a good one, guys.